everybody. I am here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am at Sunrise Coffee House, and I thought it would be poetic if I showed up at Sunrise, which means it's really early. So Sunrise Coffee actually opened in 2008, and something that they focus on is organic fair trade coffee from single origin farms, which I think is amazing. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, let's do this. So I not only have one drink, but I have two drinks. Because when you're in Las Vegas, two is always better than one, right? So this one is the Mexican blend, and I'm probably gonna mispronounce it, but it's from the Chiapas region, correct me if I'm wrong, and I was told that there were notes of chocolate and peanut in it. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Ooh, that's so smooth. Got my lipstick off the cup. That's really good. And I actually don't think I'm gonna add anything to it because I really do taste the chocolate and the peanut in it and I don't want to interfere with all of the hard work that it took to get into this cup. Now the next one actually isn't coffee. This is one of their fall seasonal drinks. It is the pistachio matcha latte. And that sounded really unique to me, but apparently it was one of the most popular drinks that they had for their fall menu, so I figured I had to get it. I actually don't drink a lot of matcha, but I'm always open, especially if this is one of the popular drinks on the menu. So, here we go. Oh man, that is probably one of the best sugary drinks I've ever had in my life. Pistachio is such a unique flavor that I feel like you either get it wrong or you get it right and this place definitely got it right. Like it's mild and present enough, if that even makes sense, that it just blends so well with everything in this cup. Like I definitely need to find this drink in Los Angeles because this is probably one of my new favorites and I want everyone to know about it. So if you guys hear of any sort of pistachio matcha lattes, you have some high expectations to live up to. Hold on, I need another sip. Ugh, happy New Year to me. Oh, speaking of New Year's, here's a fun fact. Auld Lang Syne, which is actually one of my favorite holiday songs when sung well, was originally a Scottish poem written in the 1700s by Robert Burns. So it wasn't even actually meant to be a New Year's song until somebody named Bandelier Guy Lombardo great name by the way, popularized it because he would play it every single year in his band. So, the more you know! And a huge thank you to Sunrise Coffee for letting me come and film here and being so warm and welcome and inviting. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had a very fun and safe New Year's and I will see you all in 2018.